appreciate comments received from part one of our civil peace talk. Part two is equally educating and captivating. We are going to sign off with Pastor Wemimo Ogunde sharing the grace with us. Hello viewers, my name is Olu Wemimo Ogunde. I welcome you to the concluding part of my talk, What Hymns Have Taught Me. I want to express my wholehearted support for the initiative of my friend and brother Larry Delano the CEO of Chopin, in initiating the Sunday Morning Hymn Series for the purpose of reawakening hymn singing in Nigeria. No doubt, hymn singing is dying, and as a result of that waning interest, there is also weakness in prayer, weakness in the study of the Bible, and even apathy in attendance of worship services, particularly among the young Christians in Nigeria, and indeed globally. As a result of this, there is now poor spiritual growth and maturity. I used to have the same problems as a young Christian, but God used hymns in helping me to solve. Number one, him singing helped to transform my prayer life. How did this happen? God used prayer hymns of our fathers in the faith to help me to sing prayers in my quiet time when I could not talk prayers for too long. And by singing prayer hymns regularly, I discovered that I could last longer in my prayer time and gradually I started to use these prayer hymns to get direction and purpose in prayer. Hymns like Guide Me O Thou Great Jehovah, Blessed Savior We Adore Thee, Deeper Deeper in the Love of Jesus and Jesus Lover of My Soul are some of the many prayer hymns that helped to reawaken my prayer life. Number two, God used hymns to help me to build a deeper study of the Word of God. How did this happen? I discovered that hymns also represent a condensation of many verses of Scripture in just a few lines of hymns. If you see the background of many of our fathers in the faith, they took time to have an extensive and deep study of the Bible, which they were able to pack into very few lines. And any Christian who is having problems studying the Bible only needs to get a hymn and a Bible concordance. And he would discover that phrases in hymns like our cornerstone in Christ is our cornerstone or showers of blessing in there shall be showers of blessing will help him to explore the Bible in an easy way and will help him to also develop a better study of the Word of God. Number three, I also discovered that hymns represent spiritual lubricants. What do I mean by that? When we sing hymns regularly, we discover that hymns soften our hearts. The words, the lyrics of hymns, they help to expose and open our hearts to God particularly if we do it in a conscientious way. There is no person who sings heartily to the Lord, who would not want to draw near to God. And in the process, he moves away from sin. He moves away from the devil. He, be, he has a hatred for sin as a result of singing hymns. So hymns help to pour grace for us to be able to live a more holy life. Hymns helps to actually get a connection to God by reason of singing. I believe that's the reason why in Ephesians 5.19, God said that we should speak to ourselves in psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs, and we should sing and make melody unto the Lord. I want to stop there, hoping that I have encouraged you to do so. And I will close with a hymn I love so much. 
a hymn of Julia Johnson in On Grace. Grace, grace that is great.